Hello everybody, my name is Dan from Encore Motor Cars. We're going to take a quick walk around this 2004 BMW 3 Series convertible. Let's take a look at it from all angles and I'll tell you a little bit about what I know, show the condition of it. It is a, uh, got 77,000 miles on the car and it's in really good condition. Somebody traded this car into us, they bought something a little newer. Uh, for the most part, it, uh, it is in really good condition, doesn't have any major issues, flaws, problems. A couple of little superficial um, marks here and there on the exterior, as you probably expect on a 2004 vehicle, but nothing that you're going to want to take care of or, or worry about. Uh, just take a quick look at some of the uh, areas that uh, usually uh, take a little bit of wear compared to the other sections of the car. One of them is this rear bumper. There's a couple of little marks right here on the very rear part of the bumper. And then the other part that, uh, getting a good look at the lower section of the car here for you, where usually the, if there's anything that's wrong with the car, that's usually where it is. The front bumper's in really good condition. Only a couple of very small minor things on, on here. Actually, I think that's just a little sap or something that's on top of the paint. I know that'll come off. I can feel it. That'll come off the paint. So I don't really see anything on the front hood or the front bumper that's an issue or problem. The wheels are in good condition. A couple of little minor marks here and there, but no major scuffs or problems. I'd say the right rear has got uh, more, uh, more wear on it than any other uh, of the four, but nothing that you're going to need to do. And the Convertible top's in great condition. The back glass is in nice condition. It's got a nice seal on the rear, along the rear deck. It's not curling up here at all. Nice, uh, nice looking roof for a car of this age. With 77,000 miles on the car, and the fact that it was kept in the garage, you can see that it uh, has very little wear on the paint. Or the, or the clear coat's not fading on it, and it's not developing any uh, sun fade or or any kind of bleaching in the paint. The steering wheel's in great condition as well. Not dried up at all there. Door panel's nice, doesn't have the uh, any uh, marks from the person resting their arms there. And the seat is really in sensational condition. We uh, walk around here to get a shot straight at it so you can see what I'm talking about. I got my shadow over it there. And we get a really good close look at the bolster here. It's a very common area for wear as long as also, the uh, as well as the, uh, the landing area on the bottom of the seat, also in nice condition. It's got the decals down here in the door jam where they belong, including the VIN number here. And again, 77,000 miles and change, automatic, all power equipment. It does have the rare, for 2004, the rare navigation GPS system and the upgraded radio system on there. So that's a nice feature. And uh, the back seats are in nice condition. Carpet's in nice condition. Got a set of mats in the trunk. We'll take a look there now. Here's your mats. And some storage area back here. And a place for the spare tire, which there is none. It's a run flat situation with this car, so there wasn't a, a spare tire in there when it was new. Uh, run flat tires that can drive for 50 miles with a flat tire is what came on this car. Let's take a look at what the tires are now. The toolkit's here. All right, we're going to start it up real quick and show you the gauges. Other than the gas uh, being a little low, there isn't anything giving me any warning here. Seatbelt light, which I don't have on, and the open door lights on, but otherwise. Nothing going on there. Take a look at the air conditioning, which blows cold. I just had it on all the way here. Auto motor, the auto uh, light goes on. Everything works on it. Take a look at the roof going down.
Yeah, we'll put it back up. Gonna get out here and we'll take a look at the engine compartment. How the engine's running. Nice clean engine compartment in here. And we don't wash it because we're afraid of, uh, of getting the electronics wet. So this is the way that these people kept it. Nice and clean and kept it wiped out and nice. And Like the insulation under the hood is in nice condition. And we'll take it for a quick ride so you can see the transmission working correctly, the brakes and the gauges operating. And we don't want to go too far because I don't want to run out of gas, but I'll. Uh, so we have to demonstrate that the uh, car runs and drives really nice. Yeah, it's got the uh, speedometer and the tachometer working correctly, and everything is going well. There's no noises in the car. The steering's. I got my hands off the wheel right now. I got my hand on the camera, and it's not pulling left or right. The brakes jammed on. They uh, they feel good. They don't. Uh, they don't vibrate, it doesn't feel like there's any kind of issue going on with the brake rotors or, or the pads or anything like that. So, looks like we're in good shape, guys. I'm going to find a place to turn around. And this is the end of the video. My name's Dan. I am from Encore Motor Cars, Sarasota, Florida. And the phone number, if you want to just reach out to me and try to work out a deal with this car, is 941-915-7637. 941-915-7637 please give me a call and um, I'll be happy to try to work something out with you on the car. Thanks for watching today and have a great day.